found in Spain. A group of Spanish paleontologists was making a documentary about the fauna of Munielos Forest, located in Asturias, specifically about the search for fossils of the reckless saber-toothed car. However, finding the remains of a really creepy creature made this audiovisual piece take a new and terrifying course, one that will make you remember the Blair Witch Project. Paco Alsagare was taking a look at the surroundings of the forest while his expedition companions excavated a piece of land located about 600 feet from where he was. Suddenly, his colleagues urged him to come and record a new discovery. You can watch as the cameraman walks cautiously and then runs in the direction of his friends. It is the body of a dragon in perfect condition. Even its wings are intact. When focusing on the other researchers, these are doing their work with extreme care. We don't know if they're afraid of damaging the specimen or if they fear that this dreadful being will be alive and attack them at any time. Dragon Skull in an Australian Cave Most people like to rest on weekends, but others like Marcus Jones love doing outdoor activities. He was in his native Australia on an excursion on a Saturday morning. He even had a camera in hand to record the route, when in the middle of the journey he made a disturbing discovery. As you can see, Marcus was recording the nature that surrounded him, and suddenly, he walks in the direction of a cave. When entering, he directs his gaze towards the ground. There, he found a skull, but not one of a known species. The bone structure was very similar to that of a small dragon. A close-up cleared all doubt, and indeed it was a mythical creature. Then, we see its face in front and sideways. You can even see an antler adorning its head. Marcus backed away, perhaps in search of the rest of the bones, but he got nothing. If we're certain about anything, it's that Daenerys Targaryen wouldn't be happy to witness this scene. The Nephilim of India In the ancient world, there were many civilizations, each with its own myths. Something that almost all have in common is the existence of giants. It's even possible to read about these beings in the Bible. However, the Hindu mythology refers to them as the Daishas. Despite this, it's not common to find remains of these creatures. Many people claim they never existed. If you're one of them, maybe you change your mind with this unusual video. Tib Patel, a resident of Bombay, has uploaded this footage to the internet. Here we can appreciate how in the street and in full view of everyone, the skeleton of a giant was found underground. This measured more than 50 feet. This may surprise you, but most people pass by as if nothing unusual were happening. What do you think? Could it be that these events are more usual than we think? Or maybe films like Jack the Giant Slayer have made people not to be surprised before these epic beings? Tell us in the comments. Dragon Head in the British Isles If there's something that has spread since time immemorial throughout most of Europe, it is the medieval stories that talk about dragons guarding giant castles. Due to the modernization of many nations, these stories have been forgotten. However, there are places where these legends remain more alive than ever, and this is the case of the Isle of Man. Johnny Spencer is a fan of the history of the Viking Kingdom of Man, so he decided to spend a season in that location in order to investigate the mythological creatures that besieged this land. What he never imagined is that he would return to his home in London, with tangible proof in his hands that he himself found after hours of digging. When he got home, he recorded the following material in his garden. In it, you can see the head of a fossilized dragon in clay placed on a metal table. When zooming in on this piece, you can see traces of blood transformed into solid iron. Amazing, don't you think? We can even see a piece of red skin. We assume that's the color this animal had in life. Maybe this beast had a face similar to that of the character Shenlong from the Dragon Ball GT series. The 60-Foot Chinese Dragon A group of farmers in the Chinese city of Zhangjiakou on a hot summer afternoon were digging to plant some vegetables. After about half an hour doing so, their shovels found an object on the ground. Upon seeing what it was, they were terrified. They couldn't believe their eyes. It was a series of giant fossils. You would probably think we're talking about some kind of dinosaur, but it's not like that. Its physiognomy indicated that it was a dragon and the word quickly spread among the locals. There's even a video going around the world, so watch these images very carefully. 
The first thing we see is a crowd of people who observe closely what appears to be an immense spine and the hand of the cameraman, who points out these gigantic remains. Then we can see a monstrous skull. Surprisingly, there are several people on top of this bizarre animal taking pictures while they smile. We're sure that if this creature were still alive, they wouldn't be able to get on its back and live to tell about it. Dragon Fossil in Mud The Shetland Islands are located in the north of England and southwest of Norway. It is common to hear stories about beasts that spit fire at those who dare to challenge them or simply to approach them out of sheer curiosity. If you investigate the genealogy of the place, probably more than one local inhabitant has an ancestor who claimed to have seen these creatures. Such was the case with paleontologist Ian McLaren, who was searching for fossils of dinosaurs in Larrick, the capital of these islands. After several hours of work, he was very tired, and just when he was about to give up for that day, he made a discovery that left him stunned. We're not talking about some Tyrannosaurus rex or any other known species. He immediately began to record the video we'll show you next. In it, we see what looks like a large rock, but when Ian gets closer to the object, we can appreciate a small eye, which clearly reminds us of some prehistoric being. Upon making a more wide shot, it's obvious we're in the presence of the head of a large dragon. What do you think? Did it die being buried by an avalanche of the Earth? Let us know in the comments down below. The White Dragon In summer vacations, it's common for families to go to the beach and when they're not in the sea, parents sunbathe the bitch while the little ones play with the sand. What will tell you next happened to the Nakamura family when they spent a few days on the coast of the Izu Peninsula, located in Japan. Hideo Nakamura, a seven-year-old boy, was playing with a bucket and a plastic shovel. Out of nowhere, he ran up to where his parents were. He was shaking, and he didn't seem like he could talk. He only pointed in the direction where his toys were. His father checked the boy's body in search of the bite of an animal. Not noticing anything strange, he decided to go investigate what had alarmed his son so much. What he discovered was so shocking that it will leave you speechless. Immediately, he went in search of a bigger shovel, and when he finished digging, he proceeded to record this footage. In it, you can see a huge white body. Its appearance fits perfectly with the description of the Eastern Dragons since it didn't have wings. It even looks a bit like Falcor from The NeverEnding Story. Cornish Pixie Before going into detail about this story, we need to immerse ourselves in the Harry Potter universe. Remember the Cornish Pixies? They're very small blue creatures, about 8 inches, which have a shrill voice. They also enjoy making mischief to people. It's common to see two of these little creatures lifting up any human being. With that being said, let's move on with the story. On a Sunday in May of 2015, in Cornwall, England, when Robert Curtis was in the yard of his house admiring some trees, he suddenly spotted his dog Fido digging the grass, and after removing it from the place, he discovered what was the canine fuss. Next to what seemed to be a nest of straw was a tiny skeleton with a humanoid appearance. We can see that on its bulging thorax lies a large head, in proportion to the rest of its body. It should be noted that its legs differ completely from the human anatomy. Probably J.K. Rowling, author of the saga of the young wizard, was aware of similar cases when writing her famous books. The Giant Cyclops it is impressive the number of creatures whose existence can remain anonymous until found by our civilization. One of these species is the mythical Cyclops, of which Homer speaks in the Iliad. According to legends of ancient times, thousands of years before Christ, these beings inhabited the islands of the Mediterranean. Many paleontologists have devoted part of their lives to the search for these humanoids without obtaining satisfactory results. This changed suddenly when, in 2014, a group of scientists made an impressive discovery on the coasts of Sicily. After months of following tracks, they arrived at a settlement where the remains of one of these mythical beings was supposedly buried. After doing several searches in this place, without having discovered anything significant, they were somewhat frustrated. But when they decided to make one last dig before leaving, they couldn't imagine their luck was going to change entirely. This group of researchers couldn't leave their amazement after extracting a giant skull from the earth. But the most striking thing is that unlike the Nephilim, it had a single large eye socket. 
being proved that many myths and legends can be more real than you imagine. The Sea Dragon For many dragons, according to legends, water was a weakness. In Eastern mythology, it is common to hear stories in which they have died when they were left in the depths of the ocean, motivated that these creatures lost their wings to fly on this side of the planet. Qiang Ming is a fisherman from the coast of the Yellow Sea in China. One day in 2011, in the middle of his working day, he made a chilling discovery. It all started when, in the same way as he always did, he dived into the sea with a fishing net of his fishing boat. When bringing it back, among all the things captured, a heavy skeleton called his attention. Immediately, he called his co-workers to see what it was about. This skeleton had the shape of a legendary oriental dragon. It was long and had a huge skull. The media didn't take long to make an appearance. Mr. Ming declared that he had found strange things in his day-to-day, -day, but that nothing surpassed this terrifying animal. Which of these discoveries has surprised you the most? Do you think there are still dragons? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.